Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. Today we're going to be reacting to this video by Chris Cohn on the 401k and IRA retirement plan. So check out this video. And if you're middle class, you're poor. What they do is they say, put money in a 401k, put money in an sure. IRA. And you're like, yes, this will be what I need for retirement. But no one's doing the math. And here's what the math says. Uh, the 30 year average on the 401k, the 30 year average in an IRA, do you know roughly uh, over 30 years, what the average every year is earned in ROI? I do not. It's 5%. And the reason why that's poop is because you take $50,000, write this number down, take with the passage of time, take 50 grand and ask what happens to it in a 401k over 20 years. It triples, it becomes $160,000. Now on the one hand, someone might say that's pretty impressive. And I'm like, yeah, but did you know in the 60s, the average person's 401k and IRA is 200 grand. And at age 55, you've topped off your income at $94,000, which means that at retirement, you've saved two years worth of money. So after you have cut your expenses in half, you can maybe go four years before it's all dried up. It's poop again. All right. So I like what he has to say on this because it's something that people don't give enough thought, um, I believe. Um, people don't, they don't take their retirement plan serious in the way that it could work if they know what they're investing in, they, ded they dedicate their contributions and they are aware of what they're contributing to. And we've talked about this before where we've said, or where you specifically actually said is, if a company is the one that sets up the 401k for you, why would they want you to retire if you, are doing work for them. And the reality is a company won't want you to retire. And that's something that people have to get a grasp on in the reality of the world is that no one, no company, no entity is there to just give you handouts and take care of you. You have to take care of yourself and your family. And it might even be on the contrary where they don't want you to succeed and you have to find the success for yourself. So I know for you and for me and for our families, uh, the 401k and the Roth IRAs work differently because we know which stocks to invest in and such. But um, what insight do you, do you have on this as far as like what you see in the workplace and other people that have these retirement accounts? One correction, um, I, I say businesses in the companies you work for don't want you to be rich. They want you to retire because they want you to stay there forever and leave there broke. But oh, okay. they don't want you. I they don't want you. you to be rich. Right, right, right. Yeah, they yeah they don't want they don't want you to be rich so you can, you know, comfortably or anything like that. Because again, if if you was in the right investments, and not saying that your company know what the right investments are, but if you was in the right investments. And you compound at 15, 20, 25 percent a year. I mean, just depending on what fund you're in. And then you see that you have a big nest egg sitting there. What incentive do you have to sit there at work? And again, I'm not saying that the company is nefarious. Let's just let's just put it this way. The company's retained earnings are not sitting in the same account that yours is sitting in. Your CEO investments in their 401k is not sitting in the same accounts that you're in. Um, it's a study, 95% of the people don't even know what they're invested in their 401k. And I find that to be true because everybody I talk to, they have no idea. Oh, it's whatever the company set up. And then so I always ask them, I say, do you think your company wants you to have enough money where you can walk away today? And then they always look at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, no. I'm like, you should know what you're invested in. And most people invest in target retirement. But going back to what the gentleman said in the video, uh, I think that he over-exaggerated one way to the next. But then his over-exaggeration, and the only reason why I'm saying he over-exaggerated is because I know better. But for 99% of the people out there, he's absolutely right. It's going to average 5% especially when you uh, factor in the fees and things of that nature. And then the reason why he's saying you've been there 30 years and you put 50,000 in, because only thing people want to put in is the match. So they might put in 3%, 4% and put in the match. 
I'm okay with you putting in a match if you take in advantage of other investment vehicles like maxing out the Roth IRA and things of that nature. But people put damn near pennies in a 401k thinking that it's going to do something for them. That's not how money is made. People are always on this, oh, I want to invest with no money. No, it takes capital to invest. If you don't want to spruce up the capital to invest, then stay the hell out of the way. You're going to be miserable. When Alex, we did videos about people thinking that they 401k pensions and Social Security is going to get them through retirement. My mom worked at a Fortune 500 insurance company, retired from there, receives a pension, receives Social Security. But the numbers that they everybody base it off today's numbers. Oh, well, my Social Security would be this when I retire, and then my pension would be this when I retire, and I have a you know a couple thousand dollars in my 401k. That should be enough. But they fail to realize that. It's inflation, and the prices when they retire at 65 will be way higher than the money that they will have or be allocated. So then you get to retirement age, and then the money that you get from, if you get a pension, if you get Social Security and things like that, the value that they bring it in is, is way less than what their expenses are. I mean, if you just think about it, let's just use Florida as um, an area. If you are a retiree, let's just say you get a pension, you get Social Security, uh, and let's just say on a monthly basis you're bringing in 3000 a month, you need food stamps in Florida if that's what you're doing. You need it because where, where are you going to stay? I mean, a one-bedroom, one-bath is around $1,500 a month. Now, you can go stay in the projects or something, but you're still going to pay eleven, twelve hundred dollars for a two-bedroom or something like that. And then... You add in the medical expenses, the co-pays, and all this other crap that they have that they make these seniors pay. The money don't stretch to the end of the month. Hell, you better get out the first week of the month. And then that's why you be seeing stories on Yahoo News about uh, elderly people at home eating cat food because they ain't got no money. They ain't got no money. They don't. People don't look at how their their future. <laughs> I know you're laughing, but people don't look at their future. Because they only live in the, the here and now. They need all the money. Oh, I need all my money for my paycheck so I can pay off this furniture. I need all the money out of my paycheck so I can pay for a TV. And then you jack off all your money, the your whole lifespan, and then now you wanna you want people to feel sorry for you and think that they're supposed to take care of you. Why? That's that's what it is. But the reason why I said he he exaggerated the five percent. I mean, five percent, maybe, maybe. Uh, but he was one hundred spot on. It's some, you know, most people in their whole work career they might put fifty thousand dollars into uh uh four one k or something like that, and fifty thousand dollars they will get you nowhere. I mean, I yeah, I this is me. I will be shooting for to put at least in a working career from 18 to 60. I would at least be working to put of my own money, forget the match, forget everything else, about two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars in there. So yes, that means putting more than a match. That means putting a substantial percentage in there every month. I'm not saying you got to max it out, and I but you should be maxing out your Roth IRA also. But that's the only way you're going to have enough capital to get get out. We had a video, you know, a million dollars in retirement. You won't, you still won't make it on on that. But that was what you got. Yeah, I can't remember if it was a like a long video or a short that we did on on this. And you had talked about um, before people even begin to try and do outside investments. Why not learn your own four hundred one k? Why not? see what stocks you're investing right. and that is like the round one for someone to actually indulge into like they can easily just say okay before i open up a brokerage account and start buying individual stocks let me look at my company 401k and see what i have in there and then learn what a 401k is there's people at at my work where they don't even know the difference between a traditional and a Roth. 
and then they don't know what a Roth 401k is and a Roth IRA or a traditional 401k, traditional IRA. Like they don't know what these are. Like learn that first. You, I mean, these are people that have the accounts and they don't even know it. Or my favorite one yet, or not even my favorite one, I hate this one, but people that have these accounts and then they're like, yeah, yeah, I worked at this one company and I have a 401k with them, but I don't, I don't remember where it's at. Like, yeah. You just contributed like they just what you just assume like when you retire, they're going to be like, hey, congrats on retiring. Here's your 401k. Like, no, you have to know where your accounts are. And I told someone this. I'm like, that is as stupid as you having automatic withdrawals from your paycheck to a savings account. And you don't know what you don't even know what bank the savings account is in. I mean, that's how stupid that is. Like they and this is someone that has a Roth IRA and they're they have uh, automatic withdrawals from that. I'm like, how do you not know which account it's in? I'm like, that it's insane to me. But this is, you know, you have to understand the principles and the, the, the basics of investing before you think you can just go out and start buying individual stocks, before you can start buying real estate. And like you were saying, yeah, just like in real estate where it takes capital to make money, it should be the same in stocks. It should be the same in retirement. Um, for the past two years, my wife and I uh, jointly contributed about 30% of our income in just 401k. And within just those two years, we have more money than some of my family members that talk about their 401ks. I mean, you know, and it's, it's insane to know that these people have been invested in a 401k for 20 30 years and we were we're invested for two years and we've already surpassed them and it's just because we have contributed that amount and we always talk about living on less than you make say 30 percent of a hundred thousand that's 70 so that's thirty thousand dollars live on seventy thousand is it it's not impossible to live off of seventy thousand even in florida you know so you know people just have to make that commitment to do it yeah, absolutely. And that's really the, the crux of it. And like you said, it's it's being intentional. It's being intentional. People people want to invest, but they they want to invest, but they want to keep the lifestyle that they have right now. They don't ever want to set they don't want to sacrifice their now for the future. And that's what it comes down to. You don't want to sacrifice your now for the future. And then when your future gets here, then you're sitting here looking crazy. Wondering what the hell happened. What the hell happened is you want to go to the club. What the hell happened is you wanted to go on a cruise that you couldn't afford. What happened is you wanted to go to the mall. You wanted to get the latest and greatest. You wanted to keep up with the Joneses. And then the thing that nobody tell you, you trying to keep up with the Joneses and the Joneses is broke. So you just follow and they, they rode to poverty and you just going along with it. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this video short with that. I'm not going to deep dive into that. But he, what he said was, it was correct. Uh, is it ways to not follow follow that path? Yeah. But for the majority and most people, he is 100% absolute, 100% correct that people don't do enough in their 401k. They don't know what they invest in their 401k. And they will have the numbers that he said. They have little to no money. Even if you even reach $50,000 in there, $160,000. You may get there, but just think, $160,000 over 30 years, that's pennies. That's absolute pennies to what it could be if you actually put some effort into it to make to make it shape. Absolutely. With all that being said, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like button, uh, share, subscribe, leave a comment. We'll see you guys in the next one.